The following is a presentation of KBTC Profiles. I saw my first line dance performance when I was like three years old. Growing up in Chinatown, there would most likely be a group that does Kung Fu and lion dancing. So it means a lot to the community because it's a sense of culture. My name is Royal Tan. I'm the chief instructor at the Mach Fai Kung Fu Dragon and Lion Dance Association. Mach Fai has been around since 1974. Our school is located in Seattle's Chinatown. We specialize in southern style kung fu called Choi Lei Fut. Choi Lei Fut is uh, from southern China. It's uh, famous for like wide range attacks, very quick and agile movements. And we're really famous with our lion dance as well. Especially in the Chinatown community, we do all the performances all over the greater Seattle area. The lion dance symbolizes prosperity and good luck. The Chinese believe that you know it's gonna bring good fortune. It's really popular during the Lunar New Year season, but we, besides Lunar New Year, we perform for like weddings, grand openings, corporate functions. The history of the lion dance, there's one story where there's a beast that attack a village and start eating like the crops, you know, uh, terrorizing the villagers. So the villagers decide to create a costume out of like paper mache and bamboo to scare and ward off that beast. And then that beast is named Nian. Nian means year in Chinese. The Nian scares away the old year and brings a new year, which is the lion. Nowadays, lion dance has become more of a sport. Back in the days, lion dancing was just all male dominant, but nowadays, lots of girls are into performing the lion dancing, learning lion dance. So we have girls that actually do the dancing itself, as well as the music. The drum is basically the main heartbeat of the dance. So the cymbal and gong accompanies together to make the, the whole music complete. The rhythm of the drum as well as the cymbals symbolizes the heartbeat of the lion. So when you're actually performing the lion dance, you have to make sure that you're representing that movement as best as you can. There's a famous saying from Bruce Lee where Kung Fu is like a ball in a chain. You kind of snap and you whip, right? But it's powerful with speed. So as a line dancer, you always want to incorporate that. You want to embody that movement. We practice three days a week for the martial arts aspect and about three to four times a week for the line dance aspect. We focus a lot on endurance because these things can go from 20 to 30 pounds and it might be light to carry for a few minutes but when you're jumping around, moving around, holding these things for 10-15 minute performances, it can really be a burden on your body. So it's important that we practice physical fitness so that we can really keep up with the dance. So some of the things that we do at Kung Fu is horse dance. Other side, go. Trying to get lower in your stance, not only that but holding it for as long as you can. Then the next point is naturally it goes into lion dancing. Now you're incorporating that same amount of efficiency, but with power, and you're expressing more emotion through the line. So there's always the next level. How can you translate your Kung Fu into your dancing movements, make it even better? So usually when uh, you're line dancing, of course, there's the head player and then there's the tail player. The head player is in charge of almost like the facial expressions of the lion head. They have the string, the pulley mechanism that allows the lion to blink, to flap its ears, and then the mouth can drop and you can flap the mouth. Uh, so they're in charge of the facial expressions and the movement and the direction where the lion goes. But the tail player, usually a heftier guy, someone who can lift or hold that bent over lunged position for a long time, that person is in charge of being the main structure of the lion head body. During inspection or like an investigation, the lion might approach an item with caution. They might go into a cat stance. 
back to a horse stance, back to cow ma, back to bowing, to actually eating the, the chang or like an item in front of them. Lion dancing is an art that's essential to its country. It's important that we teach kids, the younger generation, to learn about their culture so they get more involved and so they don't lose their culture. KBTC profiles are available at kbtc.org.